Hello, I'm Eric Weigert, and I am on the coast of, uh, of Spain, on the eastern coast of Spain, on the Mediterranean side. This is called the Costa Brava, and it is a beautiful place to come and paint. In the fall of 2018, we're going to come here and, and conduct a workshop, and I hope to see you there. We're going to have a chance to paint marine scenes, beach scenes, market scenes, landscapes, and uh, some of the cityscapes. And what I want to address this morning is some of the, uh, the challenges that a, a cityscape will offer us, and especially, especially the windows. Windows can be a real challenge. And so I would like to take you on over to one of these older alleyways, walking alleyways, no cars. Uh, the, the, uh, the people will have uh, their wares for sale out in the street, and it just offers a plethora of subject matter and shapes and patterns to paint. Just a, uh, just a, a, a real richness of painting material. So let's head on over there and uh, let's start this uh, series on doing the windows and, and finding uh, challenges. So we have found a great place to paint and here we are in this typical uh, uh, European street scene. If you notice, the, the, these things are so wonderful because the awnings and all the wares that they're selling are out in the street, which offer us a wonderful uh, array of colors and patterns to, uh, to approach in the painting. But we're going to talk about buildings this morning and the challenges that buildings offer us. More specifically, I'm going to talk to you about windows because windows can be a little bit of a problem I've noticed with my students in workshops over the years. Windows are a rectangle or a square. And rectangles, squares, circles, triangles, uh, these geometric shapes can be a problem in our painting because our eye will go right to them. They are a visual discomfort. And we want, one of the elements that we want in a good design is to be able to get the eye throughout the picture plane and then bring it to that area of dominance. But if we have some windows in the right hand side or the left hand side of our painting that are just rectangles, our eye will stop there and it won't go back to that area of dominance that you want. So I'm going to show you several ways in order to mitigate that, uh, that awkwardness that, that windows have of those, of those rectangles. So let's get started. So, so this is the, uh, uh, the way that I try not to do windows, at least in my style of painting. It doesn't work to do them this way. And it's the way that we would typically think of doing it. That's the way we think that a window looks, and, and realistically that is basically it, but it's a, it's a uh, rectangle, and rectangles are awkward because they have uh, parallel sides and they have right angles. They're very commanding to our eye, and if my area of dominance is somewhere else in the painting, then, then uh, this can be a visual, uh, a visual discomfort. So, let's consider doing a window this way. That may look a little bit awkward right here by itself because it doesn't, it doesn't really look like a window but it's a very good design shape. And the reason it's a good design shape, it's more of a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces, our eyes tend to go through them and they don't stop there. Our eye would stop here, which is what we don't want if we are carrying the eye throughout the picture plane. In the context of, of more windows and a, and a porch or a uh, balcony and people and all that, this will work very well. It's a very comforting shape. So consider doing this. You can always come back in, always come back later and show more of the window if you want to. Join it together a little bit more. But most, but most likely this is going to work quite well. Another, another option is this. Put your, put your window in, but consider carrying it into the building, into the building around it. 
that will then mitigate or soften up that hard edge of those right angles and it creates a better shape. So realistically, our shape now goes like this. And it's a, mu and it's a much better puzzle piece. Another option, especially if they're small windows, and you've got a number of them in the, in the background, is to just take a nice pointed brush. And just let it skip. And try, try not to make them all the same. Vary the, the, the edge quality of each of these windows. That, that will work very well. Now keep in mind, this is in the context of larger things happening around the, uh, around the, uh, the windows. You've got a street scene, other things are happening. If your main objective is to bring out one window, and that is your area of dominance, then this really doesn't apply. These are only for a secondary interest. If, you, if your window is near the area of dominance and is the main part of your painting, then you will render it more completely than this, and you will show more detail and use other avenues of softening, softening edges. Another important concept on doing windows is, uh, is the concept or the design principle of, of alternation, repetition with alternation. We don't, we don't want to do this. Even though realistically your cathedral may have windows like this, but it's like a bad score of music. It's, there's there's a repetition but no alternation. It's like all the same notes being played and it becomes very boring. So it's important to create a better design, a better pattern, a better pattern, and we do this with alternation. So this pattern is much better than this one. Here we have alternation. Think of it as music. We have quarter note, quarter note, maybe quarter rest, and, and then eighth note. Okay, we're in the way here. We need to move. Okay, we're back. Uh, I didn't realize it, but we were in someone's uh, doorway here, so we had to, had to move. Anyways, this is not a good pattern because it's too much repetition without any alternation. Here we have a much better pattern. This is much more pleasing. This is much more pleasing to the eye. And consider it like music. We have quarter note, quarter note, quarter rest, eighth note, sixteenth note, quarter rest, and then maybe down here you might say this is an eighth note, maybe a, a half rest. Much more interesting, just like music. This would be just quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter. It's a, it's a, it's a sad, uh, sad drumbeat. So, anyways, this is uh, something to consider when doing windows. Remember, it's always design. Design is always more important than the actual rendering of the object. And our objective is to create visually pleasing shapes. It's not to to uh, uh, to capture exact reality. That does not make for a good painting many many times. But good patterns always does. So, uh, I hope that helps you out a little bit on windows. Now we're going to go to Barcelona and we're going to uh, tackle another challenge that uh, Windows offer us. So I, I, look, uh, hope, I look forward to uh, talking to you then in our next video.